you welcome to my channel once again and I hope you're staying safe wherever you are. In this video, we are going to, the focus will be on how to present a material or content in Google Docs without actually typing it. Of course, at times it could be quite a bit burdensome to type. Maybe you're getting tired, but for whatever reason, typing is not just a thing that you have lengthy material they are going to post as either lesson content or any content at all in on Google Docs. Definitely, typing it may not be the best. Then there are two ways to either go about it. One way is that you can actually copy the content from any other source on your PC, either from Google Word document from anywhere. Just I like it, copy it and click on it to paste it. That's one way that that can be done. Of course, that's possible one way if you paste it. So you can just copy your whole content and then it can be done. Like we had learned in our previous video, if it involves an image that you want to import and you don't actually have the image on the computer or your PC, you can import, you, you can go directly online using the insert tools and using your image and searching for it on the web right here. The video, the link to that video is below, will be below this video. So you can check the link for other videos that have been done in the series. So you get a full understanding. But in this video, we're looking at how you can type aside from copying and pasting without actually typing when you're presenting material. That's what we want to check now. Now we'll go to our tools this time. And then we'll check down, we have voice typing okay that this is it this is a tool we want to use now we'll click on it it's now showing red once you use red if you whatever you say it's going to capture it please if you're this is the first time in this channel you can use the subscribe button and then click on the bell so that you can get notification of the video posted on this channel. The topic is heat and temperature. Okay, so let's check the lesson now, the content now. You click, you click here. Heat is a form of energy. Now, notice one thing. One thing here is, once whatever you're doing, whatever you're saying and it's helping you to type, you're going to show that it's your responsibility to, at point, each point in time, add the punctuation mark yourself manually because it will not observe punctuation marks. It's you that is going to add the punctuation marks. Either after the, at the end of all the content, and you want to then you start going back which could be cumbersome but it will be very easy for you to post as interval any line you, there's a comma or a full stop you post and add it if you want to enter the next paragraph you just stop reading and just use your um, keyboard keys your keyboard to use the right key to maybe enter the next paragraph that's what it should do the only thing it can do for you just for it to just be typing for you randomly so this is much like Google Assistant um, that you have anywhere, either in your mobile device or whatever to search your content. It's that's how it works here on Google Docs in Google Classroom. Okay, we'll continue from there. So you just click on it. It is what makes an object hot or cold. Temperature is a measure of how hot or cold an object is. An object that is hot has high temperature, while an object that is cold has low temperature. So 
So if you, if you look at, I have to post it, if you look at the high temperature when, so an object that is hot has high temperature, there should be a comma here. So you have to add a comma. Okay, then here is a full stop. Go there and add a full stop. Then you can proceed to the next, next, you know, paragraph. So you have to ensure that your mount is very close to your PC speaker if you're using an external mic connected to your PC. So be quite close to me, which is quite better. So that your voice needs to be instinct. The words you read needs to be quite instinct and clear. Otherwise, you just pick random words. Of course, if you saw what it picked before was Domino's Pizza, before it eventually corrected itself, because it works with AI, artificial intelligence that pick whatever word and then type it automatically for you. Okay, so let's punctuate this. And then the next one, next, the next paragraph. You put it on. The temperature of a body is measured with a thermometer. There are different types of thermometer. This include So yes, please. So you're supposed to supposed to be the plural form of this, not the singular form of this. This. Okay. So here, a semicolon to indicate that you want to actually add lists or state and state list items. Okay. So that that is it. And then. At this point, if you actually want to add your your image to it, you can just I think the the a previous video on how to add image here explains that. So the video link is below this video. You can check that. So that's how it makes your work quite easy. It makes everything easier for you if you're not good in fast typing or maybe your your stress and the stress of typing is quite a lengthy material for for wherever purpose it is. You just use your Google Docs and type it and then you can save it from there, arrange it and then um, print it out or copy it and paste it where you want to send it as a mail or whatever. And then you send it for your classroom, your content is ready. Please, if this is your first time in this channel, you can use the subscribe button so you get notifications of new videos in this series and other series. And playlists in this channel and then you can use a thumbs up if you like this video as well and please if you have any comments or suggestions or whatever just put it in the comment section all right see you in our next video